While it is pile on Sandstrom night and it's it's deserved, he stunk and he stunk again. Like this is twice in this seven game stretch where he cost him at least a point. I will say 19 missed shots throughout the game is too many. Uh, three shots on goal through four power plays is not enough. Like the team didn't do a couple little things well enough to really earn like, oh man, the goalie just let him down. Like they scored once. I, I can't put it all on Sandstrom. Uh, that said though, Charlie, looking at the schedule, they have 10 games left. They have one back to back. It follows three off days and then they have two off days following it. There's absolutely no reason Arison doesn't get all 10 starts, right? See, I, I strongly disagree with this point. I think they, because here, here's the thing, you don't want Arison to be dead for the playoffs. If, if, you're, if your hope is like, okay, we're going to make the playoffs and then maybe try to make some noise, do you really want your goalie to be completely out of gas for game one? Because then if you're throwing Felix Sandstrom in there, then you're going to be losing 8 nothing on national stage. No, it, I, I think for starters, no, I definitely do not first throw Arison in a back-to-back -back and play him in. 10 straight games. I think that's batshit insane. But also, <laughs> but also, hey, 10 um, games like he's going to war. I was going to say, like, maybe we get him rolling, tonight. Charlie. You get him rolling into the playoffs. <laughs> but also, I mean, I I would, if it, the way this shakes out, if the Capitals fall apart, which I think is very much a possibility given the fact that I don't think that team is very good. Yeah, I they need to cut it out. But like, I don't think they're very good. So I think they are going to start losing at some point. If the Flyers start getting a cushion, I mean, I would even consider going with Arison eight times. You know, give give Sandstrom a second start. I'm not saying that I'm expecting Sandstrom to play well. I'm not. I just am more concerned about not running Sam Arison into the ground versus, like, having one of these games every week and a half where we go on the show and complain about nothing like Sandstrom. I'm more worried about Arison and not burning him out versus like being angry every 11th day because Sandstrom shits the bed. Yeah, I'm just not that confident that all of a sudden the Caps are going to be bad again. Like, I don't know. They're winning a bunch of games. Ovechkin's scoring a bunch of goals. There's just as good of a chance they catch the Flyers as the there is like Felix Sandstrom doesn't lose them both starts. Bill, Bill's going back to the everything is 50-50, right? It either happens or it 50 -50. doesn't. <laughs> why would why would the Caps all of a sudden stop it winning? Like, they don't. It's just as likely the Flyers stop winning. They're both bad teams. Could like, do. You know? All right, settle down. I, like they're the not Flyers good. Bad. They're just look <laughs> at the point down. differential between one and two in the Metro and the whole rest of the goddamn division. They're not good. I, anyway, I, I I would not go and say Sam Harrison is getting every single start the rest of the way. I think that is a foolish decision that very likely could result in him running out of gas by the end of the season. And I think almost certainly will result in him running out of gas for the playoffs. And then, you know what'll happen if that happens? Then Sam Harrison runs out of gas in the playoffs. He gives up five goals in three straight playoff games. And then we spend the whole summer with a bunch of people screaming that, well, he chokes when the games matter. So no, I'd rather avoid that possibly. Yeah, I'd rather just watch the better players play than worry about narratives, Charlie. We all city like the mayor.